Get started. Come, we're gonna make a video. Hello, people. What's popping? That's you not coming out video. Miss, I'm making a video. Come. Look in the camera. Yes, people, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? They're different premiums today. Look at Miss and I'm here. So basically, I know it's been a while. You all haven't seen me in a while. Yeah, because I've been busy with work and stuff. Take on one new job. You know, so I see when I post that video. Everybody should know by now. Seminaries. But I have to edit video because it's too much work. Anyways, I know it's been a while since you all have not seen me. Right now, I'm supposed to be sleeping for work because I'm working midnight to 8 a.m. However, I decided to check in with you now. But basically, I want to check in on more than one occasion because. I was having a conversation with somebody today about my mom and I and our relationship and how I make sure I take care of my mom. Even though my mother have 12 kids, um, Tasha, stop look up on my face now. My mother have 12 kids, two deceased, RIP. I never get to know them, they died before I was born. I really talk about it still. But my mom has 10 kids who are alive, right? And we all play a part in taking care of mommy and daddy. We take care of our parents. All of my siblings, them, whatever them can contribute, them contribute. Tasha take Tasha because she not stay steady. I mean, I want to drop off her bed. Everybody play a part in, in the upbringing and, and to make sure say, mommy and daddy are right. When them birthday come, we make sure them get all the love them need, all the money them need, all the goods them need. If it's a birthday party, whatever we can do, we do it for parents, right? And I am one of the ones who Tasha can tell you now. Every month me make sure so my mother get a certain amount of money. Even if I have to make a sacrifice where my life or our life is concerned. I don't know what I am about that I look like this well. But I always make sure so my mother get a certain money out of the budget every single month. Before my work full time, when I was just working for myself, I still make sure my mother get her money. I still make sure so Tasha mother get a little change now and then because I so we stay. Tasha makes sure so she take care of mother just the same. Because I can't be taking care of my mother. I mean I help take care of my mother in law. So I'm saying this because a lot of parents raise their kids off of nothing. Growing up in the country, you know life did rough. Some of we eat source of food and go to bed. Some of us never used to wear shoes because me and one of them used to walk barefoot to school. And I turned out to be a very bright boy and a businessman coming from nowhere, getting somewhere. A lot of us have had life hard when we were kids growing up. I don't know much I don't know about source of food. I don't know how much I don't know about tin mackerel, tin boom, flash out. Sunday dinner, flash out. Sometimes your parents can't afford chicken and rice and peas and all the good things them. But they make sure that the kids never go to bed hungry. And the point I'm getting at it hurts my heart when I see parents out there are struggling and their kids are living a, a lavish life. Every night when me I eat my dinner, my mother come to mind and I say, I wonder if mommy eat already. Sometimes I message her and I ask her, you eat? And she say, yeah man, this is somebody cook or Diane cook or Garfield cook or whoever cook. Or she say, me go cook man, me, me alright. Me take my message her and I say, you have grocery? Sometimes I don't even ask, sometimes I just send it. Me we all send 10,000 I go give mommy last week. And next week I just find an extra 10,000 again. And I just send it go gear again. Enough people would have an extra 10,000 and them just say, you put that in my bank book here man. Mother alright, she don't live her life already now. Me send my mother 30,000 in one month, 40,000. It doesn't matter. Money, me not set no limit for the amount of money when me forgive my mother. Because for the nine months where she carry me, I will forever take care of her. The price that she already paid was to carry me for nine months and never abort me. Even though my transition right now and the topic kind of hot in the family and enough people know about to talk about it and so, my mother still show me love. She still show me love. And from you have your parents in your life and they are still alive. Even if they're not in your life, once your parents are still alive, people reach out to your parents, talk to your parents. If it's even just to say good morning 
how are you doing or good evening how are you doing and for those who can afford to take care of them parents do it all of, it's my parents good for us lucky for us i guess we are blessed enough that my daddy did build one house so my parents now fear parent because me don't know how them would manage if they were supposed to be paying rent i don't know how they would manage but people, if you're watching this video and you have a parent back in the islands or wherever your parent is or parents are, please may I ask you now, if you're in the position to financially contribute to your parents' life, do it. Even if your parents not talk, make the money bring you back together. Mother's Day come, even if your mother never raised you. Even if your granny raised you or your uncle or your auntie raised you, you still have a mother somewhere. Do me a favor, if you can spare for send her one fifty dollar one day, do it. No for no live a far no now wear the expensive clothes them or something. On no don't know no mother eat. Oh, 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 feel alright about that? To each his own still you now because sometimes some parents do know some stuff or no can't get past it. I understand. But sometimes if you want to bury the ashes you have to start somewhere. Our parents never get the love and the education that we are privileged to receive, you know. So we know how to deal with depression and we know how to deal with the struggles that we go through. We have friends we can talk to. Counselors are at our fingertips. All, all, all Google can gain information. If you feel depressed, you can type in pan, pan Google and say, what is depression? And it tell you, for parents they never have access to all this information. A lot of them still in an abusive relationship because they don't know any better. And they don't have nowhere else to go. They, ha they already have kids for these abusive men. And they move out of their parents' house because they thought it was a better life and they thought it was a bed of roses. But after going out there, they realize that it is not better and they can't go back home. Because a lot of the olden days parents believe in wedlock. And if you have your children outside of wedlock, them not pay you no mind. You're like the outcast, you're the bad one of the family because you breed out of, out of marriage. Worse if you're going to breed for all a married man or a man who have somebody else. Your parents, them not pay you no mind. Because it's what they are used to. It's, you went against the norms. But if a church sister can get pregnant out of church and 10 years later she come back to church and the church accept her back. And then pray fear and all of that. Some prodigal sons need to re return home to their parents. Some prodigal sons and daughters and trans persons need to bury the ashes between their parents. I understand that enough of us have been through hurts. Enough of us have been through a lot of heartache because of our parents. But where the world is at right now, a lot of people need family to survive. A lot of people need to have a connection with their family to, to feel at ease I hope I don't let nobody upon them can but you know, just try if you know, can't bury the ashes between your know, parents still send them a money they are going to take it because nobody now get money and get back nobody now get money and get back unless I steal unless I, I crime money when my mother would have said blood money she don't want no blood money if any, my mother always say, if any of our children them ever go out there and turn criminal, do not ever spend a dollar upon her because she don't want no blood money. My mother always said that I don't want any blood money. She pray for it every day. She said, listen, I pray that you will all know, turn out to be something good and nothing bad because I cannot take the bad news. So she try hard to make sure all of us go to school and try to get an education from the little that she had. You understand? I mean, I really talk too much about my father, you know, because in my own person, he has his own personality and his own way of doing things, and he's more of an authoritative person where he, he gives instructions and he commands people, do this and do that, and if it's not done, it's, it's like a different kettle of fish, it's like a big argument or something, so it's just his way of parenting again, which is different. But to each is one. I'm not here to make anybody feel bad. I'm just saying if you can help an appearance, do something for them. Mother's Day just gone. I wanted to do a video from Mother's Day, but because I came off duty 7 a.m. Mother's Day and by me come home, get some sleep and wait Mother's Day done. So Father's Day coming up now, so you know we're in between Mother, Father and May's um, Child's Month too. 
So happy Child's Month to all the beautiful children out there, whether you're an old person or a young person, you're still a child. Somebody gave birth to you, somebody brought you into this world. So just go and do the good things. Them Take care of appearance if you can. Like me say, even if the relationship is not good, and if an appearance dead and gone, buy one flowers, go put on the engrave. They might see it. They might feel you coming there. Buy, buy one flowers, go put on the engrave. And if you still have some vengeance in your heart from your, for your parents, do you know? On a grandparents, on a can afford to go by the graveside and spit on the grave and say, You hurt me, but right now I'm forgive you because for my own health, I have to move on. For my own mental space, I have to move on. Spit on the grave and then you drop the flowers and say, I forgive you. You understand? Because one of the first steps in healing is to forgive. You acknowledge what happened, how it happened, and you, you, you figure out where you want to go from here. Then you forgive in order to move on. You see me? In order to move on, you forgive. So people, I really don't want to keep this video too long, but like I said, enough of we, they are foreign, and we parents in Jamaica, and they have to be paying rent. And we not even try to help with parents to pay the rent. So how do expect them to survive? You're living a better life and you can't even assist them with their, their finances. Like people, really, are that a go on? I don't know, it just depends on my heart still. So I was having a conversation with somebody um, in the week and I'm like, you know what? I need to put this topic out there because this is something I've always wanted to do. My mother can tell you. She not pay light bill much years now. Me make sure stay a foreign and pay her light bill. All for 10, 15 thousand they come to. Me make sure stay a foreign and pay her light bill. My mother not have to buy a phone card much years now. Me tap up her phone straight from here. Every month my mother phone bill comes straight from my bank account. My father have access to the phone. The phone of my mother have me buy it for her. The phone of my father have me buy it for him. So the two of them have access to smartphone. Them can call me on WhatsApp, video call, whatever. The bill is paid. Any one of them want to use the phone, take it up and use it. I am boast, me am brag, but I'm just showing you that. I'm not over here living my best life and my parents them out there hungry that now I keep. It now go keep. Before some split my baby money and split my family money and send something to give my mother. I can't do it. No I don't have some big house, I don't put up some big house, I don't know if no mother have a night dinner. I don't know if no mother have toilet paper for use. I don't do it. It no matter what your parents do. It no matter how them raise you. It no matter how much time them abuse you. Still play your part. They failed you doesn't mean you have to fail them. They didn't take care of you like they should. It doesn't mean you should render evil for evil. No bother with the olden days and I for an eye. No, them, them something there, the Bible take you back. I mean, the New Testament came and buy back some of them laws there. The eye for an eye and the tooth for a tooth. And if you write an offering, you cut it off. No, because enough of we to have one hand. Because if you write an offering, you're going to cut it off, then you only going to have a left hand. Which is what I mean. And if a man lick it, you're going to lick him back. War wouldn't stop. Police station would have full every day. Because I see. Even police are like people and people are like back police now. That is where the world is at. Which it shouldn't be. I don't render evil for evil. I don't play tit for tat. So, I don't know. But people, just go and big up yourself. Continue to watch the channel. I'm still here. I might not be putting out a lot of content like before. Because, I, like I said, I take on a, a different hustle. And I have some stuff I take care of. I have some stuff I take care of because I'm in the process of getting... Piece of land and stuff, stuff, stuff. We try to start build on it and stuff, stuff, stuff. So, I have to go and clock in the money, you see me? Because I want to have more than one stuff going. I want to have more than one businesses because I have to secure my children's future. I don't want to win time, me dead and gone, my children, they must suffer, you see? So, I have to secure my children and future. So, I work while I'm young and, and able bodied. While I'm young and I can afford to do it. So, Set goals, people. Set dreams and make them into a reality. Because no man know the day or the hour. You see me? But, again, if you can afford to take care of your parents, take care of them. If a one thousand you can give, give it. If I just buy them a phone card every now and then, do it. Do it. Because the enough parents have sacrificed a lot to see you grow up to be the person you are today. I understand. Some of your parents never raise you now. Maybe are the best thing the parents did for you by not raising you. Somehow no mother give one away being on a young. Maybe are the best thing she do for you because right now no turn out to be something in life. 
send her money, go give her and tell her, say, thank you for not raising me. I'm a better person today because you weren't a part of my life. Send her, go give her, make sure she eat it and give God thanks. Because enough of them don't be hungry and they would be afraid to reach out to you because they don't know how to. And all the persons who always watch my channel and like up the videos and comment on the videos, go and big up on yourself because I know it's a journey with Kevin is here to stay. And this is just a short video. So until next time, peace out.